hi guys and welcome back to my channel so i have this soft easy glam for you to do it really doesn't take that long to do this look even though i take long to do everything but yeah i just wanted to come and give you something simple um something that you can kind of just do kind of like if you want to go out or you know just just anywhere basically date night whatever you want to use this look for it's just really easy achievable look to to, to do and not a cut crease in sight <laughs> so guys i hope you enjoy this look um i decided to do full face today if i was doing anything more technical more structured and cut crease i probably would have just done one eye guys i hope you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up please and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel yes i know it's been a long time but i'm back i'm gonna come back with more looks for you if i can when time permits me to do so um in the meantime enjoy and i'll see you again soon adios so I like to start off with my brows. I'm just using a spoolie just to kind of just brush them up. And I'm taking the e.l.f. Cosmetics Instant Brow Lift Pencil in the colour Dark. And I'm just going in my brows and just filling in any sparse hairs. So now I'm just taking my P. Louise base in the shade 5 and I'm just carving out my brow. I'm using the MAC 242 brush to do this and I like to take my time and I'm going to end up packing on that base also over my eye area with a pat a pat pat motion. So I'm just diffusing the edges and I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that I got with my Modern Renaissance palette to do that. So now that my base is ready, it's time to just start blending my first blend. Now I'm using the Zoeva 228 brush to do this and I'm taking the colour Latte from the P. Louise palette and I'm just buffing that into my crease. Now for my second blend I'm just using the Zoeva 224 brush this time and I'm taking a colour from the Morphe 35 OM palette, it's a brown colour and I'm just buffing that underneath the first blend that I did. So what I like to do is I like to go back and forth with my blends just for any colour loss. Just using any blending brush and I'm just using the P. Louise base in the shade 2 and I'm just lightly putting that over my lid and blending it in. I'm just putting a bit of the Duo eyelash glue on my eyelid ready for my pigment. So now I'm just taking my Bare Minerals Concealer Brush and I'm just packing on the P. Louise pigment called Icy. This pigment is so beautiful, I love it. I'm using one of my favourite pencils and this is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I love this white liner and I'm just putting that on my lower lash line. Now I'm taking my P. Louise base in the shade 5 again and the same concealer brush from MAC and I'm just patting that underneath my eye ready for my next blend. So what I like to do is that I like to use my normal concealer that I use and just kind of diffuse the edges out with it. My Makeup Revolution concealer is what I'm using here and just buffing it away with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. I like to mirror underneath what's going on on top so I'm just going in with the same blends underneath as I have on top and I'm using the same brushes also. So for me, no look of mine is complete without my lashes. So I'm just applying my lashes from NL Beauty. I love these lashes, they're so lovely. 
but it's foundation time my favorite 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 part because before it I just look crazy so now I'm using the revolution foundation fast base foundation and I like to mix it also with the Maybelline matte and poreless I'm just tidying up my brows here but like I said I like to mix it with the Maybelline matte and poreless and for that I'm gonna be using my real techniques technique brush face brush to buff it all in So now I'm applying my concealer to highlight areas where I feel need to be highlighted so I'm using the Makeup Revolution concealer in the colour C13 and I like to mix it with the 12.5 well, and I think it's C13.5 I use and I mix it with 12.5 and I'm going to use the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge it just sounds like it's just too much words for me to speak right now Miracle Complexion sponge to buff it in So now I'm just applying RCMA powder with another Real Techniques brush and this is actually a contour brush but I like to use it to powder my face. So I'm just using my MAC 129 brush and I'm taking a brown powder from the 35OM palette from Morph to contour my face. I prefer to use powders to contour, I can't be asked to be dealing with no creams. Yeah, quick and easy, quick and easy, that's how we like it. So now I'm just using another MAC brush, this is a 219 pencil brush and I'm just applying my highlighter in the inner corner of my eyes and I'm using the Master Chrome highlighter in Molten Gold from Maybelline, applying it to my nose bridge, tip of my nose, all that good stuff. So I'm using the same highlighter from my cheeks and I'm using my MAC 184 Duo Fiber brush for this. So now it's time for the lips, now I'm using Sleek Lip Pencil in brown and I'm going to fill this in and then I'm going to use Ruby Kisses Liquid Lipstick in Dune and Nika K New York Lip Gloss or Lip Gel in clear and then we are done, finish, kaput! So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys and I'll see you again soon, peace out!